The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. That same year, at the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Asia, a Gibeonite, spoke as follows to Jeremiah in the temple of Yahweh, in the presence of the priests and of all the people. Yahweh, Sabaoth, the God of Israel, says this, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. In exactly two years' time, I shall bring back all the vessels of the temple of Yahweh, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from here and carried off to Babylon. And I shall also bring back Jeconiah, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah who have gone to Babylon, Yahweh declares, for I shall break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah then replied to the prophet Hananiah in front of the priest and all the people present in the temple of Yahweh. So be it, the prophet Jeremiah said. May Yahweh do so. May he fulfill the words that you have prophesied and bring all the vessels of the temple of Yahweh and all the exiles back to this place from Babylon. Listen carefully, however, to this word that I am now going to say for you and all the people to hear. From remote times, the prophets who preceded you and me prophesied war, disaster, and plague for many countries and for great kingdoms. The prophet who prophesies peace can be recognized as one truly sent by Yahweh only when his word comes true. The prophet Hananiah then snatched the yoke off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it. In front of all the people, Hananiah then said, Yahweh says this, This is how, in exactly two years' time, I shall break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and take it off the necks of all the nations. At this, the prophet Jeremiah went away. After the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke, he had snatched off the prophet Jeremiah's neck, the word of Yahweh came to Jeremiah. Go to Hananiah and tell him this. Yahweh says this, you have broken the wooden yokes, only to make iron yokes to replace them. For Yahweh Sabaoth, the God of Israel, says this, an iron yoke is what I now lay on the necks of all these nations, to enslave them to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. They will be enslaved to him. I've even given him the wild animals. The prophet Jeremiah said to the prophet Hananiah, listen carefully, Hananiah. Yahweh has not sent you. And thanks to you, this people is now relying on what is false. And so Yahweh says this, I'm going to send you off the face of the earth. You will die this year since you have preached rebellion against Yahweh. And the prophet Hananiah died the same year in the seventh month. Our response is from Psalm 119. Keep me far from the way of deceit. Grant me the grace of your law. Do not deprive me of that faithful word, since my hope lies in your judgments. Let those who fear you rally to me, those who understand your instructions. My heart shall be faultless toward your will, then I shall not be ashamed. The wicked may hope to destroy me, but all my thought is of your instructions. I do not turn aside from your judgments, because you yourself have instructed me. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew. When Jesus received this news, he withdrew by boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But the crowds heard of this and leaving the towns, went after him on foot. So he stepped ashore. He saw a large crowd and he took pity on them and healed their sick. When evening came, the disciples went to him and said, this is a lonely place and time has slipped by, so send the people away. They can go to the villages to buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, there is no need for them to go. Give them something to eat yourselves. But they answered, all we have with us is five loaves and two fish. So he said, bring them here to me. He gave orders that the people were to sit down on the grass. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven and said the blessing. And breaking the loaves, he handed them to his disciples who gave them to the crowds. They all ate as much as they wanted. 
And they collected the scraps left over, 12 baskets full. Now about 5,000 men had eaten, to say nothing of women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen.